Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, the CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning, we do probate, we do it well. Today, I want to talk to you about what to do if you are named the personal representative or the executor in someone's will and they die and you don't want to do it. Before I get to that though, I want to remind you, if you have any specific estate planning or probate questions and you want to talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to estatemeeting.com. Okay, today's question or today's uh, topic, as always, comes from a conversation that I had with a real life person today. And uh, this person was a little freaked out, a little bit, a little nervous, a little worried because she had been named the personal representative, which is what we call the executor in Washington state. She had been named the personal representative by someone in their will. They had died and she didn't want to be be the personal representative she didn't want to open a probate she didn't just didn't want to sort of like take on the responsibility and she wasn't sure what to do um, the will had been filed with the court which is required of all wills so when somebody dies you have to send you have to file the will with the with the court so they sort of have the, the will on record um, but she wasn't sure what to do after that she tried to decline to be the personal representative but they wouldn't let her do that because no probate was opened and she was worried about sort of taking on some personal liability um, for not sort of moving things forward. And I thought, well, that's a problem that some people might have and, and um, let's talk about it. So first things first, just because you are named the personal representative in someone's will does not automatically make you the personal representative when someone dies, all right? It sort of puts you in the first spot, but it doesn't automatically happen. To become the personal representative to step into the shoes of someone that has died to uh, take, manage their assets, take care of their debts, and distribute their assets, the court has to appoint you to that position. Okay, so just because you've been named in the will doesn't mean you actually have those responsibilities, those duties, and those powers until the court says you do. The court does this by issuing something called letters. Okay, these are the mythical letters that everyone talks about. But until you have those, you don't, you're not actually technically the personal representative, even though the will says they want you to be the personal representative. So until that happens, you technically don't have any responsibilities, you don't have any obligations, you don't have any duties to do anything. You literally don't have to do anything if you don't want to. And that's what was happening in this case. Uh, she didn't want to take on the responsibility, so she wasn't doing anything. The will was filed properly, and now it was just sitting there, and she was getting worried. Um, the other reason you can't file the, the um, okay, so um, that's one way to say no just not do anything. It, there are, uh, basically anyone is allowed to open a probate for anyone, okay, to get that out of the way. It's not just the personal representative, anyone can open a probate. Um, they may not be named the personal representative, they may not wanna pay for that, but anybody te technically can. So someone else in that family is gonna have to do that. When they do that, when they open that probate, then she will have the opportunity to decline to be the personal representative. Very simple to do that. It's simply something you file with the court that tells the world, hey, I know this probate's getting open. I don't want to do it. You don't really have to say why. You just decline, and that's it. They'll name the next person. They'll go on to the next person in the will, or somebody else will step up and raise their hand to be named the personal representative. Okay, so that's it. That's how you do it. Um, if you have not looked at your estate plan for a while, and you're not sure if your personal representative is still up to the task, then you might want to take a look. You might want to ask them. Um, if you don't have a backup, you might want to consider doing that. Um, several of those things that may help um, you and your family um, with your estate plan and, and with things after you're gone. All right, that's it. Um, as always, I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you know someone that needs to hear it, please share it with them. If you have a question or comment, please leave it. And if you have a specific question regarding estate planning or probate and you want to ask us, you can do so by going to estate meeting. Dot com. You can set up a time to talk with us over the phone for free, estatemeeting.com. Okay, I am Christopher Small, as always, the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning, we do probate, we do it well. Thank you for your time, thank you for your attention. I appreciate you, and I will talk to you again soon. See ya.